simply can't get a break. This is breaking news. The CDC now investigating another outbreak of E. coli linked to Chipotle. Five more people, three new states. They report becoming ill after eating at a Chipotle restaurant. Chipotle stock tumbled today. It hit a 52-week low. Liz Peek, the FiscalTimes.com columnist. Hillary Kramer, A&G Capital President and CIO, and Steve Moore, the Heritage Foundation's Distinguished Visiting Fellow, join me now to talk about Chipotle. Let me start with you, Liz. Um, this is really terrible news. They can't get their act together. They really can't, and I think that's the problem here. It's not that it's happened once, twice. It's now a serial issue for this company. And what we've seen is in the last uh, outbreak, lots of people, dozens of people were hospitalized and very ill. And guess what? Same store sales collapsed. They were down about 20%. And yes, it was only for a few days. But the mm -hmm. truth is, this has an impact. And if it, you know, we have one more uh, outbreak going on now, a different strain of E. coli, it, it you was... begin to wonder where the control is, right? Well, that's the issue. Yeah. Uh, Steve, let me bring you in. Uh, Steve Ellis, who is the CEO of Chipotle, last week he was doing the mea culpa tour. He was apologizing on national television, in newspaper ads. They took out full page ads. And they promised that Chipotle will be the safest place to eat in the United States. This destroys brand reputation, does it not? It sure does. It's called brand damage. And you know, e I mean, uh, th this company, Chipotle, really has made its, uh, its big run up in the uh, fast food market by being the safe food company that, that has, you know, safe beef and safe lettuce and safe cheese. And the fact that, as was just said, that they now have serial problems with the safety and, and the health of the food that they're serving. It does substantial damage, and I'm surprised their stock was only down 3%, given the fact that it could take weeks, if not months, for people to feel safe to go back to those stores. Hillary, it's down 23% year to date. Can they turn this around? Of course, Chipotle can turn it around, and Chipotle will turn it around. Chipotle has grown their whole business based upon being organic, healthy, yeah. about its appeal, and Chipotle will find a way. What was going on is Chipotle was dicing its tomatoes and cilantro right in store. They're going to change that. They're going to sanitize it first. Then send it. In many ways, this is the price that's paid. There is so much growth potential with Chipotle. You want to buy Chipotle. Here is the big opportunity. The stock is, you know, closed uh, higher. Well, it, it closed down today, higher off its low, obviously. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you this, um, Liz. There's this whole push towards organic and locally grown. Yeah. But you say, don't you compromise the ability, as Hillary just said, to control the sanitation uh, exactly. when you go this route? And, and organic is somewhat of a canard. Stossel's done exposés on this, yeah. that the fertilizers they use actually carry the diseases yeah. that we are We don't want to think Ill. about that, right? right <laughs> but that's what really want to think about, those, about what those fertilizers are. I think that's totally right. I mean, you kind of have the idea that these are sort of small, homegrown products and so forth. Guess what? You don't get the big control mechanisms that you do in a big commercial farming situation or whatever. I, look, I think, uh, yes, they will solve this problem, but I think their reputation has been dinged by this. And they're going to, the problem is it's, it's more than a week sometimes between visiting the store and the outbreak. And in the last yeah. big outbreak in October, November, they don't know what the source was. So it's right. not really easy to solve this problem if they don't even know what's causing it. Okay, 